you start playing a popular video game. After completing level 1, you get excited and move on to the next level. The second level is a little different from the first one and a bit more challenging too. But you manage to clear this as well. Now, you're excited to play even more and you jump on to the next level. As you must have guessed, this level 2 is challenging and more difficult than the previous one. But you somehow crack it. That's great! Every time you win, you're excited to play more and play better. And eventually, you end up playing a series of levels. What actually happened here? Want to know? Let's find out. The entire scenario is an example of the domino effect. What do we mean by this? In simple words, we can say that when one event leads to another similar event and that event leads to another one and so on, then such a phenomenon is called the domino effect. Confused? Don't be. Let's consider one more example to understand it better. Let's take a series of rectangular blocks like these and we place them one after the other like this. Now, what would happen if we slightly push the first block? Correct, it will hit the second block, the second block will hit the third and this goes on. A slight push sets off a chain of similar events. This is nothing but the domino effect. Simple, right? Now, before you draw any conclusion, let's dig a little deeper. Hey, this is Ganesh here from Don't Memorize. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from us. Okay, back to where we left off. Don't you think that each block was dependent on the previous one to fall? Yes, this one was dependent on this one, while this one on this one. Even the falling of the first block was dependent on our slight push, which eventually set off a chain of similar events. Thus, we see that it was that slight push from our end which led to the sequential falling of the blocks. That is, an initial application of energy helped the first block to fall on the second one. Now the energy gained by the second block helped the third block to fall and the process continued till the last block fell. So can we say that all the blocks were interconnected and every event that happened happened sequentially? Yes, we can. Now, does this example sound something like our previous example? It absolutely does. Both deal with a chain of similar events being set off. So, why do you think knowing domino effect is so important for us? That's because the concept of domino effect can be applied in different areas. Startling, isn't it? Let's have a look at how we experience the domino effect in our daily lives. Let's consider the prices of petroleum products. Tell me one thing, who decides the price of petroleum products? If you say it's the government, then you're not completely wrong. But the involvement of government comes at a later stage. It actually begins with a body named the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. It's estimated that around 40% of the petroleum products are exported to the rest of the world by this very body. So for whatever reason, if OPEC decides to fluctuate the prices of petroleum products, then the other countries that depend on it will have to transact money in accordance with the fluctuation. That means whatever the alterations be, favorable or unfavorable, the government of the countries that import petroleum products will obviously react to it and transact accordingly. Taking into consideration the other factors too, like import duty and so on, the government will set the prices of these products. Ultimately, the consumers will have to pay the price that's decided by the government. This eventually affects the pocket of the consumers, sometimes positively and sometimes negatively through a series of interconnected activities. This entire scenario can be summarized like this. 
Let's consider another example and get the domino effect etched in our minds forever. Imagine a situation where an automobile industry is suffering from a crisis. It could be presented like this. The decline in the sales of existing vehicles in the market led to the decrease in the revenues. As the revenues nosedived, it became very difficult for the industry to operate. Thus, the production of new vehicles dropped. Further, the laborers or the employees who were involved in the production of the vehicles had to lose their jobs due to a plunge in the same. This signifies the domino effect. But on the other hand, if the sales of the vehicles soar, then consequently the employment opportunities will again shoot up. So in general, we can state that the domino effect can either have a positive or a negative consequence depending on the situation. Now tell me, can we apply the domino effect on an individual level? Say we have to form a chain of good habits. How can we approach this sequentially using the domino effect? What's your take on this? This is your cue box to explore. Let us know your interesting answers in the comment section below. Do subscribe to our channel to be a part of a massive learning community. Happy learning!